Welcome to the video. I really appreciate you tuning in. But before I get into it, I do need to take just a quick second to thank all my members. I really, really appreciate your ongoing support. I have various different tiers. If you want to support me, become a member, you're more than welcome to. The link will be down below. We have a great time. I will notify you of my schedule ahead in terms of uploading and filming. I do members only live streams. I upload videos once a week that are just for members only, usually things like recipes or training. There are channel emojis and many more things. Whilst I appreciate that not everybody is in a position to join a membership, the ones that have joined, I really, really do appreciate it. It means the world to me that you believe in me this much as a content creator and I do my best to give back to you. On that note, now let's get into the video. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ilona and I'm also known as Shakara Transformations. I'm an online health and fitness coach and I'm also a bodybuilder. Oh, itchy nose. <laughs> and uh, today we are going to do day three of Jenny Craig. It's only a short video, six minutes, so be, be prepared to be here for an hour. <laughs> Just joking. But yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the calorie counting. I'm probably going to give you some meal alternatives that you can do for similar sort of calories. People seem to like that. I guess it's just people maybe don't think of ideas and I usually can't think of them either, but I'll try and I'll try and be creative with food whilst, whilst reacting. Before we get into it, I do need to disclaim, I'm not a doctor, nutritionist or a dietitian. And oh yeah, one more, just one thing, basically on Saturday, I will have a live stream for everybody, not a members only live stream, a live stream for everybody to celebrate me getting to 20,000 subscribers. Thank you very much. And we'll be in Sliven. We will be with Evo's single friend, Branko. So his English isn't very good, but we're just gonna have some adult beverages, have a live stream, have a bit of a chit chat with you guys before, before we go out for dinner. So be cool if you could join. It will probably be at, I think I'll probably start streaming at maybe like 6.30 Bulgarian time so that we can stream till about 8 at the latest for like an hour and a half. I don't really like, I don't really like streaming more than an hour, but I can do an hour and a half. Uh, so if people could come and they want to join, then do so. It will be the more the merrier. It's not often I do like just fun season live streams. I do for the members every week, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of live streaming. It's all right. I just find it... I have to like talk all the time and pay attention to the chat. It's tiring. It's more sociable than I'd like to be. It's nice. Sometimes it's nice to live stream, but it's not something I could do all the time. Um, I just, it's just not, it's not my bag. We will, let me move this mic down. Hopefully you're in focus. Cause you know, I'm, I was almost a professional YouTuber. So the thing is, it looks like it's in focus to me here. Cause I do look at the viewfinder and it looks like it is in focus, but I don't know. Sometimes it looks like it is in focus in the viewfinder and then when in edit, it isn't. Yeah, let's just... Get going, shall we? The three of Jenny Craig. So I think she looks really pretty here, actually. She's got a nice complexion. I know it's foundation, but she's not looking sick, which is besides obviously being obese, but you know, her, her complexion isn't looking sick. She looks cute. She looks really, really nice. I like this sort of, I like it when she goes for the sort of almost mini mouse look. It really suits her. Today it's actually raining. It's been raining for like 24 hours. She is pretty though, isn't she? I wouldn't say she's like a 10 out of 10, oh my God, supermodel of the world, but I do think she does have a very nice face. No lulls in between. Attractive face. And honestly, it's such a peaceful sound. It's kind of a nice change of scenery because Becky and I were snowed in for about a week and a half. It was pretty bad. I'm sure you guys heard about that. Cold front, all the snow. It was pretty freaking intense. Talking about the weather. I do apologize if like, if I'm being noisy. If I if I can hear it in edits, my drinking noises, I'll, I'll mute it. I don't know if we can go to Turkey now because apparently there's like curfews in Turkey and obviously Turkey is not European Union so I don't know if we have to quarantine so we was going to go to Turkey next month but I'm going to Turkey for three days to Istanbul for like three four days to then come back and sit in a two week quarantine I'm doing that I ain't doing that and then I was thinking about maybe going to Greece because that's not too far from here either it's like a couple of hour drives until we're actually in Greece but then we was maybe going to drive up towards Olympus and there's like this really cool monastery around that side as well that neck of the woods Apparently there's curfews in Greece as well. I don't want to go on holiday and be, not holiday, but I don't want to travel to a different country and be forced to stay in from seven o'clock. So I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe we'll just end up just doing something in Bulgaria until travel restrictions 
have left it. I mean, you can travel. It's just when you get there, you can't really do anything or, you know, things close early. So what's the point? You know, if you're going to travel, you want to, not that I want to go clubbing. That's not my bag. It never really been my bag, but it's definitely not my bag now. But it would be nice to just go out for dinner and not have to be like seven o'clock. I have to finish now, even, even though I do eat at like six or seven. But, you know, it's just nice to have the option to go out for drinks and stay out a bit later if you want to. Okay, I'm not I'm not complaining by the way. I understand why it is. It's just from the perspective of going away on a It's just from the perspective of going away on a holiday, mini holiday or a little break. You don't want that. Okay. I'm finally breaking my fast. I am pretty hungry and it's actual physical hunger, but it feels good because I did my fast. Um after I ended the video last night, I did not eat anything else and I'm so proud of myself and I have chocolate covered peanuts I'm a little obsessed and they're not you know part of my program and it was tempting but I didn't touch them did she not that's actually really good well done Amber that's good I the thing is though she just shouldn't have stuff like that in the house I know that's maybe easier said than done because obviously she does live with Becky as well um, so I don't know if they're Becky's or not, but when I'm dieting or I'm trying to diet, I just don't buy foods that I can munch on and that I enjoy because if it's there, you're going to eat from it, especially when you have cravings or you have, or you are hungry. So it's just better to not buy it. You know, I always go back to the Nutella reference. I don't buy Nutella because I love Nutella. If it's in my house, I will have like a teaspoon or a tablespoon every single day. But all of those little calories, they all add up really quickly. So if you're trying to lose body fat, it's just better not to buy it. Like you don't need to buy crisps, chocolate bars, candies, this and this and this. You want it, but you don't need it. Nothing will happen if you don't eat it. Except for, you know, you may you may feel like it's a difficult mentally. I'm just of the school of thought, just eat. Just have the foods in the house that you're supposed to eat, not the foods that you want to eat. I didn't touch them. I'm proud. Do not mind. That stack of clothes. I know I'm not the only one who doesn't put away their laundry. It's been like over a week. Whoops. <laughs> to be fair, I can kind of relate to that. I wouldn't necessarily leave it like that. I just leave it on my drying rack for like five days and then I'll fold it all and then I'll put it away. I don't know what it is. I just hate doing washing. I don't know why. It's just the chore that, chore that I hate the most. Clean the kitchen, no problem. Clean the bathroom, not a problem. Putting my washing away, I don't know what it is. I just hate doing it. Um, And it's dumb as well because it literally takes like... 10 minutes not even that it takes not even 10 minutes to fold it all up and put it all in its place but still i do it like once a week but i don't leave it in piles on the side oh my god this is good what in the world this is a recharge bar it's nut and honey bar macadamia nuts almonds and pecans drizzled with honey so good she's had these all week though hasn't she I'll edit it in a bit when she has her breakfast. And this is what it looks like. I love it. Love it. So I'm going to put my weight right here. So that was the first. How much did she lose? Two pounds? I can't, I can't remember. What was she in the 48? Was it 45? Was it 545.8? I think it was, wasn't it? I've lost overnight almost three pounds. And it's because I actually stayed on track. I know the... That's what I said, isn't it? In the last video, if she, just because she is in such an enormous caloric deficit, she can easily lose. I wouldn't be surprised if she could lose like 15 to 20 pounds in a week if she really stuck to diet initially. I don't think she could maintain that for a long period of time, but maybe for like two to three months, she could probably lose like 50 pounds a month. Off is water weight, but 50 pounds a month for three months. Maybe if she's on a very heavy calorie restriction. I think 50 pounds is probably feasible the first month and then it will probably slow down to like 30 and then like 20 or something like that. Which is still over a year. You're looking at a lot of pounds to lose. That all depends on how large the deficit is, to be honest. To lose that water weight, I feel super uncomfortable a lot of the time because I bloat really easily and I get super swollen because of my lymphedema and such. So losing the water weight to me feels just as good as losing the weight after the water weight. And... Totes fine with that. So I'm going to finish this and I will see you guys for my next meal. Water weight is a thing. 
So for example, we just had some mirrors installed in our little home gym. I say it's little, it's actually quite big, but it's so nice because I can do my posing there. So if you're a member, you know the weekly check-ins that I'm doing where I'm going over my training, I'm gonna start posing in my bikini in there so I can truly see the progress and the light is gonna be pretty consistent because I've been using the bathroom light here to get the light from the side, but obviously if I wake up half an hour later, the sun's up. So it's, it kind of, you can't really keep that consistency. However, the light in the, where the buildings are, the light around, in the, the light in the morning from the side of the gym is always gonna be consistent, but it's, it's looking really good. But my point is, is that I'm holding quite a lot of water. I was posing this morning and I could see I'm not as defined through my legs as what I normally am and that's because I trained legs yesterday and I have quite a lot of muscle pain today so that means that my legs are inflamed and um, they just look softer they're less defined and also having done keto now since Saturday Sunday um, and it's Thursday now I'm starting to get pretty depleted I'm starting to get pretty flat so I'm not looking as full anymore but it's fine like I know what my body's doing I just need to have a refeed again or a cheat meal on the weekend, which I will. And then I'll probably look my best, I think, on Tuesday or Monday morning. And I could do it with a tan because I'm so pasty. So I'm struggling really bad. I want to order food. I want to just not care because for me today is a Sunday. It is Sunday currently. And I'm like, okay, well, tomorrow's Monday. I could just start over. That's where my head's like currently at right now. Yeah, so that's a not a good mindset. If you want to do something, you start it now. Don't wait till next week, till your birthday, till the new year. Just do it now. Um, obviously, maybe if you can't do it now because you need to get shopping and prepare things, it's different. But don't fall into a trap where you're like, oh, you know, especially I think a lot of people go wrong where they're dieting throughout the week and then on the weekend it's like calories don't count. Calories do count on the weekend. So you can't put, if you put yourself in a small deficit all week and then on the weekend you overeat, you can still either maintain or even gain weight. And I think a lot of people don't realize that because they're like, oh, I've trained all week and I've been good with my diet, but why am I not losing fat? That's because, well, maybe you're going out for quite a few dinners. Maybe what you're ordering isn't like a sensible option. Maybe you're having a few alcoholic drinks and you have that post, yeah, that post pub kebab. All these things do add up really quickly. You'd have to try. This is why I normally do recommend a meal and not a whole day because when you, you can over easily overeat thousands of calories on a day, it's quite easily done. If you're going to have something on the weekend, make it just a meal and then that's it, no more. And obviously be mindful with your meal as well. Don't sit down and have like a 5,000 calorie meal, maybe have like 1,500 to 2,000 so that at the end of it, your overall deficit is still there and you're not just balancing out the deficit with the surplus. Oh God, I ate my bar, I want to say it was about an hour and a half ago, and uh, while I imagine she's probably going to be very hungry from that, it's 190 calories, I would be hungry from that. I was eating it, it was tidying me over, like great, fantastic, and now I'm just like, I can't imagine it oh does. Oh my God, I would kill for like a big bowl of pasta, so... Okay, so if that is something she craves, let me let me start doing here. So let me I'll add in. The, I'll, I'll I'll put a meal together. Give me ten minutes. It will be literally a second for you guys. All right. So she wants to have pasta, right? So Amber can easily eat a meal that's like five six hundred calories a few times a day and not worry about it. She, like I said, she can diet on three thousand calories and be fine. Why doesn't she have, for example, a serving of edamame pasta? Granted, 50 grams of pasta is not a lot. She probably has like 500 grams, but you're probably looking at like a small handful, I'd imagine, something like that. She can have some salsa through there because she likes salsa. Four tablespoons, maybe some feta. 50 grams of feta is quite a lot. To be fair, I'll make it 30 grams of feta just for maybe a bit of bite, a bit of flavor, and some rotisserie chicken, three ounces. So that would come down to 470 calories, 43 proteins, 29 grams of carbs, and 21 grams of fat. That would be much more filling than a honey nut bar or any pasta meal that she would ever get from Jenny Craig. And the calories are not that much different. 
it's just an example. Maybe it sounds weird to have like the salsa with the feta and the rotisserie chicken. It's just to prove that like it's you're making like a, a fake pasta sauce, basically, right? Uh, the only difference is is that you don't re rely on jars except for whatever is in the the fresh salsa. But fresh salsa is not too bad. Just make sure that it is a, a more fresh option, with as little preservatives as possible. So that's just an example of something she could do. She could instead of feta, she could put through there maybe like mozzarella, but get like the actual balls of mozzarella and just pick off some of the meat and put that through there. She could maybe have some cheddar or something if she wanted cheese. I mean, you don't have to have cheese, but like pasta and cheese kind of goes together. She could just season. She could have just uh, the salsa with the chicken and the pasta. And she could put on there maybe just some parmesan, a tablespoon or so of parmesan. So she could have pasta. She just needs to be sensible about perhaps the types of pasta. Opt for one that has more protein in it because it will be more filling and it will have more fiber and other nutrients in it. Kind of put one together yourself rather than buying one. Oh, my update. And I told myself, you know what? Even if I like fail more than I don't not fail wait what even if i fail more than i succeed or vice versa for the next 30 days i will be just talking about what i'm eating and following my my weight and so i actually did watch obese to beast do a reaction to her first jenny craig and he this is something that i didn't pick up on but he actually made a fair point that she's kind of setting herself up for failure because not only is she doing this for 30 days, Jenny Craig, which is, you know, for her to commit to anything is difficult because she doesn't have a very good track record of succeeding anything she commits commits to. But on top of that, to actually film and upload all of it all the time is hard work too. And you can say like she doesn't do a lot of work and granted that is true. It's still having to do something. And whenever, when I, I did that, um, vlog, not Vlogtober, I did Vlogtober. I ain't doing that again. There's no way I'm doing a challenge where I want to film and edit and upload every day. Because it's just... You may not think it, and she may only do it for 10 minutes. But sometimes you just don't want to fucking talk to a camera. Basically. Like, I get like that. I, I can become... I'm quite antisocial anyway. But not as in, like, rude to people. But as in, like, I just like my... I like my own space. I like people too. Don't get me wrong. I, I am very, very friendly with people. But I, I do people in moderation. <laughs> just like everything else but you, you want to doing having to just having the thought of having to film every day as well as upload uh, as well as trying to stick to a diet it is for somebody like her it is I'm not saying it's a bad thing to try and do it or stick to the goal because it would be a great sense of accomplishments if she does of accomplishment if she does but for somebody who is who, for, who gets easily overwhelmed, maybe is not the best way forward. Because I feel like it holds me, like, accountable. It also makes me, like, see things clearer and differently in a way that I normally, like, wouldn't see things. By the way, shout out to this lipstick. Although it's not my color, I don't like it very much on me. This is... I think it actually is not... I think it's not a bad color on her at all. I like it. NYX. And it's as if I just put it on. But I put it on like over two hours ago. It was exactly two hours after I filmed that clip when I got a call and I got some of the best news that honestly I could have ever wished for. It so is this not an actual what I eat in a day? Is this just an amber, an amber troll? <laughs> I think it is, isn't it, guys? It was something I've wanted for so long now. And I will... Is she getting uh, bari bariatric surgery? We'll talk to you guys about it. I promise it will eventually happen. This is so Amber. Oh my God, you guys. I have something wrong, but I can't talk about it. Something's happening, but I can talk about it. Speculation, comments, money, money, money. I'm just... Uh not ready to talk about it right now but i did not finish filming for that day i was on an absolute insane 
roller coaster of emotions, of tears and laughter. And a lot of my past just was dug up and it was a whirlwind. Uh, wow, she sure knows how to entice an audience. I wonder what it could be. I think it's probably bariatric surgery, to be honest. I don't, or maybe something family related. I don't think it's anything. Well, bariatric surgery would be very good news, but um, I don't know how she would qualify if she's not willing to undergo therapy. Maybe she is doing that as well. Who knows? Um, I had emotions and feelings that I had never felt before. And I know a lot of people hate when I come on here and say, oh, something happened and I... That's exactly why she does it. <laughs> can't talk about it. She's not that dumb. It's not that I can't talk about it because I can. It's just... I'm simply not ready. Um, I want to keep this for me for a little bit. Um. <laughs> oh, I bet the comments are so picking up on everything that she's saying. I'm going to basically end the video where I'm showing you what I'm eating today, but I'm not showing you at all any of the foods I've eaten except for a bar. And then I'm going to spend the half of the video talking about something that's super exciting and super great and wonderful, fantastic and awesome, but I can't talk about it. It's just for me. But you should know it's really awesome, but I'm not going to share it. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay though. I am beyond happy. And yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that Jenny Craig was a Jenny bye-bye that day. Is I it? didn't know who Jenny was this day. Be oh, she's just just that day, just that day. So she celebrated with food because <laughs> something else better happened. Um, so yeah, Bye, sorry if I, I let anyone down, but I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Well, there's not really much for me to say, is there? I was looking forward to doing some calorie counting, but this saves me a lot of time because. You may not believe it, but me doing all the data entry and finding the, as close an entry as possible. They're very time consuming videos to film, but um, it looks like I don't have to do it. So I'm probably gaining like an hour back in my day, which is fantastic. I don't really know what to say. I'm kind of curious. She did a very good job at keeping me on the edge of my seat. I think it's bariatric surgery. I think I don't see what else it could be, but yeah, I don't really know what to say. I'm going to end the video here. So comment, like, subscribe, dislike the video if you dislike it. Let me do know down below why. Insert a flower of your choice emoji. And yeah, I'll be back probably next week with a reaction because tomorrow I'm uploading for my second channel, the snacks and the Q&A. And then on Saturday, we're going to Sliven. So I'll be live streaming. And Sunday, it will just be a members video. But I'll probably upload vlogs, though. I think I'm going to... I have a dog video, a, a rescue video to edit from Monday. I am going to the shelter tomorrow. And I've got a few vlogs. I'm behind in my vlogs, guys. I just haven't really had a lot of time to work on them. So I'll probably upload a vlog or something. Maybe today and tomorrow. Or tomorrow. Or maybe both. I don't know. You'll, be, you'll know as much as I do at this stage. So anyway, enjoy the rest of your week. And I'll see you later. Have a good one. Bye.